Okay, guys, so I was asked by the 3D Pruning creator, Brian, uh, to make a short video on how to uh, modify the uh, SYZ printing uh, DaVinci Pro to uh, be able to print uh, flexible flexible filaments uh, like uh, semi-flex like this or ninja flex. So the first thing you need to do is to get rid of this part on top of your carriage right here. Uh, this serves absolutely no purpose and I, I, I just don't understand why XYZ printing uh, needed this part whatsoever. So I got rid of it and I replaced it with one of these uh, parts. This is a, a pneumatic uh, PTFE tubing fitting um, that has a 6mm uh, thread but uh, it's slightly modified because it allows a four millimeter tubing to go to go right through it. That way, I was able to uh, fix it using a, a six millimeter nut. I don't know if you can see it down there. Yeah, maybe not. But I was able to fix it to the top of the uh, carriage, uh, and then um, using a slightly longer PTFE tubing than the one uh, that came with the printer. I fit it right through the fitting and up to the uh, up to there up to the hotting up to that uh, T2 mark you see right there so it goes all the way from the back of the printer through the top of the carriage and through that um, hole right there uh, marked as T2 and from there to your hardin. Now you can notice you, you, you're gonna notice that I also modified the hardin to use the E3D V6. This should also work with the stock hardin but um, I'll let uh, the 3D print creator figure that one out. So the second modification I did to this printer to be able to print with uh, flexible filaments was I also added another uh, push fitting like this one like like the previous one to the back of the printer. Now the reason I did that was to be able to feed uh, the PTFE tubing all the way to the um, through through the fitting to the uh, extruder rollers in this manner, so that there's not there's not uh, any space where the filament, uh, the flexible filament can get jammed. This way the uh, the extruder motor is going to be rolling and pulling the filament from the back of the printer into the into the uh, PTFE tubing without any friction all the way through the tubing and into the uh, into the uh, carriage and through the hot end. Um, one extra tip that I can give you is to use uh, a little bit of olive oil or a vegetable vegetable oil to through a filter to lubricate a little bit the uh, the flexible filament and that way you're gonna get uh, very good prints now you will have to print specially uh, very very flexible filaments like like this one I don't know if you can see it sorry guys I don't have a tripod um, in order to print these filaments, you will have to print them uh, quite slowly um, because this is a Bowden setup. Um, you, uh, I've been able to print at 30 millimeters a second. Uh, maybe you, you have to go a little bit slower, probably 15 millimeters a second. But the sole fact that you can print flexible filaments with this printer, I think is amazing. And uh, a lot of people got this. For Black Friday for a for a five hundred dollars, which is very cheap, and uh, and it it is a wonderful printer and it's very 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 capable. So um, I hope uh, this is good enough. I I'm sorry that I couldn't make a longer video, a more detailed video. I'm a graduate student and uh, I don't have a lot of time on my hands right now.